Remembering Mahatma Gandhi, whose life is a symbol of non-violence and the fight against discrimination. The Indian High Commission organized this fantastic event to celebrate 150 years of a great man. Incredibly, this evening seemed to be surreal. When it all appeared like a throwback, remembering that a journey which started from the soil of the African continent and this is just a matter of chance that in Nigeria's capital, another part of this great African continent, the saga of Mahatma is being celebrated. Uh, how relevant is Mahatma Gandhi's teachings and his vision of the world? And in this context, today you would have heard a number of speakers, uh, starting from uh, the interior minister of Nigeria, who is represented by his permanent secretary, uh, then the head of the UN system in Nigeria, uh, Mr. Edward Cullen, and many other speakers alluded to the fact that the relevance of Mahatma Gandhi and his teachings as, are as relevant as uh, forever. Uh, during his time, the world was very different, but now his, whether it is in terms of a, his vision of using the non-violent method of addressing the challenges and conflicts that exist between the individuals, between the societies, among the societies and beyond. So that point is, has been well articulated. I think uh, it's time to rededicate and commit ourselves to the path of non-violence. Africa always remembers Gandhi with gratitude. The greatest son of the African soil, Nelson Mandela, took inspiration from Gandhi's life. We are gathered here to celebrate the man of peace, a great man, a global man, a man we know right from our young, a man that we read in our history books even while I was in primary school, to secondary and tertiary education. This is a great man who has turned around, not only India, but he has turned around the world because there's nowhere in the world today you enter a library where you don't find books on Mahatma Gandhi. This is not just merely a case of coincidence. That's like India, Nigeria is also facing the same set of challenges. So is there any roadmap of sharing a bright future ahead for both countries together? And how would both nations celebrate the legacy of Mahatma? We are uh, having this Mahatma Gandhi's uh, celebrations over the next two years. Uh, uh, many events are being planned uh, during the course of this year. Uh, I mentioned a couple of them uh, in my earlier remarks, uh, wherein firstly the government of India has decided that we'll offer uh, a state-of-the-art convention center or a conference center uh, to the federal government of Nigeria and they have decided to have it in Abuja uh, and uh, we hope in the months and uh, years in the year to come uh, finalize some of the details of this project and hope to realize uh, during the two-year period. Of course there is always a way for peace and non-violence. The life of Mahatma Gandhi is an example of this. And nothing is a better tribute to Gandhi than, of course, to follow the path he suggested. Gathered to commemorate the 150th birth anniversary of our father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi. We had uh, dignitaries from various, uh, from the Indian High Commissioner and some of the dignitaries from the Nigerian. It was a wonderful evening. I, I do remember the philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, it helped to shape the world we are living today. Indeed, we thank India for giving the world Mahatma Gandhi. The lesson to be drawn 
from this occasion is this. Nigerians should learn from India and Gandhian philosophy of nonviolence so that we can live in peace and progress.